Body Mumba, like and subscribe to Janus on tour. Like and subscribe to Janus on tour. Like and subscribe to Janus on tour. Hello guys, Janus on tour. It is the 25th of October 2023 and we are back at Home Park on a Wednesday night for Sheffield Wednesday at home. Not playing on a Wednesday night for golf. For, well, I can't remember us playing on a Wednesday night, so a bit of a new thing for Argyle today on Sky in the Skybet Championship. So, today, big game. Sheffield Wednesday, bottom of the league, still winless after their 1-0 loss to Watford the other day. They're going to be looking for their first win today. Obviously, we need to try and get a win. We haven't won since the uh, Norwich home game, which is over a month ago. So, both sides sort of towards the bottom end of the table, both promoted from League One, really need to be looking to win the game today. We're coming off a really good draw away at West Brom, 0-0 draw. Could have um, scored a goal or two in the first half, but it wasn't to be. So hopefully we've got confidence uh, today. I think we really do need to win. You can't say that it's we must win. It's too early in the season. However, if we can beat Wednesday today, we will. You know, there'll be quite a sizable gap between them and us, and um, hopefully it'll, things will be looking up a little bit. So just look to the lineup. Hardy's been dropped um, for Mumbu as well, so that should be an interesting one to see how he starts his f for his first game. Cooper for his first home park game since January as well, so should be a good one. So I'm going to be confident tonight and go for a oh it's a tough one a 2-0 Argyle win I think tonight I think we're going to do it tonight got a good record against these at home let's hope they don't get their first win of the season so guys we're at home park now we're going to have a little speech to Sean and Rich etc and then we'll get back inside block 20 today let's get all the action let's beat Wednesday let's get our first win at home park for over a month Cop of the Greens Okay, with the man Rich himself. How are you doing, Rich? Yeah, hi, old Jeff, everyone. Won't keep you long, I know you're selling, but big game tonight, Rich. Just saying, bottom of the league, Sheffield Wednesday, that win. We've got to be looking to we win ourselves. We haven't won this match ourselves. That's it, I was just saying that since Norwich, haven't we? Yeah, since Norwich. So, what, what are you thinking then? Nail biting 1 0. You think so we'll do it 1 0? Yeah. yeah, amazing. 1 0, definitely. 3 1. Okay, we're also with the man himself, Sean Beans Fallock. How you doing, Sean? Yeah, I'm doing okay. You good? Yeah, I'm good. So, it's been a few weeks since we've been here, and it's since the Swansea game. Sheffield Wednesday, obviously a family affair for you, isn't it? With your dad yeah, supporting Wednesday, etc. Yeah, and family. How are they feeling about this one? Don't know, don't speak to them. No? Do you think that they're, they're obviously going to think that they're going to need to get a result tonight, really, yes. aren't they? Bottom of the league. Yeah. But it's nice rubbing it into them, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. So what are you going for then, Sean? 3-1. 3-1, you confident? Yeah. yeah. Who do you fancy to score for us tonight? Mumba. Yeah. Whitaker. Yeah. And That'll be good, wouldn't it? Bit of a selection there. All right then, Sean, well, we'll see you at half time. Come the green. Green greatest players and league ambassadors in English football history in Sir Bobby Charlton. An absolute great on and off the pitch, Sir Bobby won three Football League First Division titles, an FA Cup and a European Cup during an illustrious career. He also famously helped inspire England to the 1966 World Cup triumph, a year in which he was also named the Ballon d'Or winner. As the nation mourns the loss of one of the game's greatest icons, we invite you to celebrate his life and achievements with a minute's applause which will start and end on the referee's whistle. Go on, Finn.
Sheffield went to the hill. What a final five minutes for Halfridge. Yeah, it's the five minute of the billion. Yeah. Overall, we were not very difficult. Not very defeatable. A lot of family fitness should be sent off. Yeah, it was the last man, so I think it should have been sent off. Thought so, throughout that half, sorry, my voice is completely gone. I'm right by the away fans, so giving them a bit of chip. <laughs> we. For that half of all, Wednesday played really good football. They, they they were getting it wide. Barry Bannon was controlling things. Yeah. Um, but you know we held on firm. They didn't really have that many chances, really. And no, then, no, I won a dot of yeah, effort. But, you know, no no shot on goal. And a free tip for get at my two. Yeah. So it didn't really trouble Cooper at all. He's looked a bit nervous, if I'm being honest. Very nervous. Um, thought, yeah. But free kick. Who would have thought it? Mumbu. Top <laughs> corner, amazing. And then didn't quite get the second goal. It was too quick. It goes straight in on goal. One more defensive error. Yeah. Slots it away from 2 0, and we're looking really, really good for that three points now. As long as we start the half in the second half well, got no voice. <laughs> <laughs> then I think we'll hang on in there. You take it, Mir Rich. <laughs> uh, oh, well, I thought Tapper went in that very dirty basket when they were tossing the ball. Yeah. Well, I thought we just didn't get going in the first. 14 minutes off. other than that more than shot yeah. I want to have a Wendy where we get them out Martin or Matt yeah. that best into that fifth infidel that we thought that I've been sending off we don't want to be so defeated from yeah. that out of hell well, those two quick fire goals have changed the game turned it on its head this time yeah. Sheffield Wendy has two choices to sit back and just turn up the new file he'll go out and make that hammer in return next goal big goal yeah, uh, two no, not a safe league in football. Never is. And Sean, amazing. Totally amazing. You're down, you're down. That's what you're having. Yeah, we sick. Yeah. We'll be mate. We didn't play well though, did we? But we got the goals, that's what it matters. Oh, count, count up. Uh, off the count up. Right, well, guys, we'll be back uh, for the second half. Come on, the Greens. Come on, me.
Hello hey guys, back in the car. What an amazing night. I've got my voice back finally. <laughs> Plymouth Argyle 3, Sheffield Wednesday nil. They do not like visiting us down in Devon, do they, Rich? Nah, nah, full fit to be in a row with Sheffield Wednesday down here. Yeah. All very double fit to be in our last season one. It was comfortable. I mean, first half, I thought they played the ball around and like we already said at half time, I think going into it 2 0 up. Probably weren't really expecting that, were we? But nah. we took our chances. I'll be honest, is it with you at 0 0 half time? Anything to happen. Yeah. But I reckon with the first two times we got, that was the thing that we needed to Killed step the game, more or less. I reckon it killed the team off. And yeah. then Hardy with a good sweep and finish in the second half really finished it off, didn't yeah. it? Yeah, first time Hardy Dawson. Uh... No, I think they were one after, but about yeah. five, six matches quite a while, the last so time Hardy too. Yeah, so it's good for him to get that goal, wasn't it? Massive top of the Yeah, I mean, looking at the stats on Sky, it's had a Sheffield Wednesday at just under 60% possession as well. Both had 13 shots. Um, we had six on target, they had two on target. So right. it just shows, you know, we were clinical with that. There. Yeah, more than it too. Yeah. But I'll be honest, Sheffield Wednesday, let a white overall. Yeah, I think now, though, it was a really poor result for them because we even at, we're 13 points clear of them now. Yeah. So I think it's going to be very tricky for them to stay up this season now. It's going to be they need a massive thing to yeah. happen to turn the table round for they, them. They have to go on a massive run, don't they? I reckon Saturday, ma no, Sunday, don't wobble when you're not. They should be the top for Sheffield Wendy to win, but I reckon Sheffield Wendy look back to them wobble one. That's a huge one, isn't it? Massive yeah, thing massive for them, yeah. Sean, obviously, like we keep saying, family affair for you. Yep. You're going home happy. Yeah, I'm going home one happy <laughs> boy. That's it. And Mr. Kelway's here. It's his third game, three wins. Indeed. I'm keep, sure we're back. Keep them coming. Let it go. That's it. Yep. So guys, yeah, it was a good one tonight. We managed to get two out of three of the goals. I didn't quite get Whitaker's because it came quite fast, but yeah. the main goal, the free kick uh, in the first half by um, Mustafa Bundy. Mustafa Bundy. That was we got that one. So uh, hope you enjoyed that one, guys. So on to uh, the obviously November now, end of October, yeah. start of November. Big game away at Ipswich on Saturday. Going to be very tough. They're flying, aren't they? Yeah, Ipswich. I'll do anything on that map. Yeah, take a draw, won't we, Sean, on that one? Yeah. yeah, it's going to be tough. But in terms of home games, we will be back for a North East double bill in November because yeah. we do have Middlesbrough, Mark Carrick's Middlesbrough, and Sunderland. Toby, Tony Mowbray. Yeah, Tony Mowbray, Sunderland as well. So two big games, two very tough games because Middlesbrough now are up to seventh now. So yeah, they're, they're on fire. They're on fire. And Sunderland, obviously, you know, got Joe Bellingham, etc. They're a very good side as well. So going to be tough, isn't it, Rich? But... These are the games you look forward to. Uh, not what we're in this league for. Yeah. So, like that. so we'll be back for that one. Um, I'll be doing one of those and Richard will be doing one of those. Not too sure which yet. But, but we sort out just in time. Yeah, but um, Borough will be the next vlog that we, you will see from us. So guys, thanks for tuning in on this Wednesday night. It's been a very uh, entertaining one. Some good goals and most importantly, a crucial win that sort of takes us a little bit further away from that relegation zone. Hopefully we can keep it up. Yeah, we needed one thing we lacked in the season, eh? consistency. We win one, but yeah. we don't win after we. We need to yeah. do an tough though in this league, isn't but it? But it's very tough. Yeah. If we two win two, two, I yeah. just about take that. Point at West Brom, win today, four points, happy days. Happy day. Now then we were two weeks ago, yeah. And that's it. Well, guys, thanks for tuning in to Shannon's on tour. We hope you have a uh, spooky Halloween <laughs> and enjoy Halloween. And we'll and see you. I one last thing. I don't yeah. remember something. Go on. Happy birthday to Sean B. Fallet. Oh, oh yeah. Week. Last week as well. Yeah. The main man himself. So he's got the, the bragging rights and the birthday as well. So <laughs> happy birthday for last week, Sean. Happy birthday for last week, Sean. Yeah. And Sam as well. There and you go. Sam. Happy and birthday me. for Sam. There you go. Keep on winning. That's <laughs> it. So, guys. Thank you for tuning in to Channels and Talk. Keep up, like, comment, and subscribing. We'll see you next month for Middlesbrough. Come, Come on, you team! Team. Come on, team. Come on team.